Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to contour and bronze your face underneath your foundation. This was kind of a craze last year, something that I did pretty often on my channel as well. This is a Scott Barnes technique. It's really just gonna ensure that your makeup stays on all day long, no matter what kind of heat you're in, humidity you're in. It really looks beautiful in any kind of photos or videos that you take. And even though it is a little bit more intricate than your standard throw on foundation, put on contour, bronzer, blush, that kind of step-by-step -step that we're so used to, it's gonna look seamless, it's gonna look beautiful. Make sure that you subscribe and click the bell button next to it. Make sure that you hit all when you hit the bell. It's just going to notify you every time I upload a new video here on my channel. And yeah, I'm really excited to go ahead and hop into it. So why don't we just do that? There's like so much going on in front of me right now. If you guys could only see, I have the camera, which is what you guys are viewing me through. I have my phone in front of me because I'm trying to create more content across my social media. And I gotta be honest, like I have such anxiety with all of these things in front of me. I have my microphone, I have my iPad. It's just like, this setup is a lot and I have no idea. Like I can't even see in my mirror, like what it is I'm doing. Put on some different skincare prior to my makeup application today. And first impressions, I'm really not a fan of this. This is the Avant Pro Collagen, Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer. I have no idea it says collagen like 80 times on the front of this, but it's a primer and my skin feels tacky. So I feel like the makeup is really gonna adhere to my face, but it just feels like tight and not very hydrated, which I don't like. Tula Skincare Rose Glow and Get It. Love that cooling and brightening eye balm. Um, this is very interesting. It really does give a glow underneath the eyes. I'll put on, like, do you see that? This is the kind of makeup that is going to last all day long. That's going to look bomb in pictures. And while it may look like we're putting a lot of work into our face, like the finished final makeup look is going to look so natural. I have done this makeup on my channel many times, but I wanted to create a dedicated video to it because I feel like a lot of you guys ask me how I contour and bronze underneath foundation. And I feel like this video will be labeled it. It will be titled it. So you will know where to go. I'm giving the people what they want. And this is what you guys want. So I'm gonna bronze my face first. And again, I'm doing this all underneath my foundation. And to do that today, I'm gonna be using the Drunk Elephant de-bronzy anti-pollution sunshine, sunshine drops. This is just like a liquid bronzer. It has the consistency of a serum. I'm picking that up with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH03. And I'm just gonna place this in the sections of my face where I would typically bronze with a powder bronzer. First, I'm just gonna dab this in the sections before blending it out. And I like to apply this with a dense brush because I find that it can dry a little quick. Um, but the density of a brush like this really helps to blend it out really quickly and seamlessly. And then I'm gonna run it down my nose just because that's where the sun naturally hits my face. And as you can see, I'm pretty bronzed. You know, it looks a little crazy. Um, we're gonna get there. Believe me, trust the process. And it doesn't matter if it looks a little splotchy blotchy because we're going over everything. So it doesn't need to be perfect. It's really not important. As we get to the top layers, it becomes more important, but everything will work itself out. This is me talking to myself because I cannot tell you like the amount of anxiety that I have today. It's like in my chest and it hurts so bad. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Contour today, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I don't like to apply this to my face. I find that this puts too much product on my face. So I work from the wand like this and then place it on my face. I'm being a little bit more precise with this product because bronzer, you kind of like fluff everywhere, whereas contour, you kind of keep it closer to the back of your face. You genuinely want to like create those shadows, whereas bronzer creates a glow. And my nose is very crooked. I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but it leans this way. 
So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that Hollywood contour, cut it off a little here, cause it goes that way. So I'm taking a little bit of that shadow, erasing the curve on the corner of my nose. I don't know if that makes any sense. Back in with my bronzing brush to just help blend this contour out a little bit more. Using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer, I'm in the shade 25, I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal my face, but also using this as a highlighter. So bringing whatever it is I want on my face to come forward. Under my eyes, like I typically do, I drew a very straight line down my nose because this straight line is gonna help to make my nose a little bit straighter. A little bit on my chin and a little underneath my lips because I find that dark shadows here tend to pull this section of your face down. So you wanna lift the lips up. Taking my Sephora 57 brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly blend this out. And when I say lightly, like I am barely even holding this. Anywhere where you want a little bit more coverage is where you should blend out last. If you leave your concealer on a little bit longer, it will kind of make that concealer have a little bit more coverage. I think it, it like oxidizes with the air and just gives it a little bit of a thicker consistency. So I typically like to go ahead and blend my under eyes out last because that's usually where I need a little bit more love. And then I'm gonna take what's ever left over on my brush of that concealer and just run it next to that nose contour just to help shape it and perfect it a little bit. Back in with my Charlotte Hollywood Contour Wand. I'm gonna take this really small pointed brush. This is a brush from Amazon, it's called Vertex. Just use something small. You can use a really small eyeshadow brush, anything. And again, I'm gonna pick it up from the wand. And I'm going to disperse the excess on the back of my hand just because I don't wanna to put too much product over here because it can get messy pretty quickly. And I'm kind of just gonna draw that around my lips like I would overline them with a lip liner. Take my ring finger and just pat that. This way we blend it out a little bit better so it doesn't look as harsh, but we're keeping a lot of the product there. For our foundation, you wanna take something that is definitely liquidy. You don't want something that is cream-based, so something that is runny liquid. So I'm gonna be taking the L'Oreal Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I'm in the shade 440. And I'm gonna do about one full pump. And can you see how runny this foundation is? Honestly, the thinner the foundation in this instance, the better. I think that this part is really important. I find that a brush like this brush that I'm about to show you is by far the best brush for this kind of technique. You can do it with other brushes. This came from my makeup artistry kit, so it's not like a brand label, but I will put one down below for you guys. Um, I think e.l.f. sells this pretty sure, but it's just like this duo fiber brush. So it's gonna pick up foundation and it's kind of gonna disperse it really wispily, if that makes sense. With the foundation on the brush, and I'm going to put this in places where I haven't really applied any product yet. So I'm gonna avoid anywhere where I have put bronzer or contour. We're gonna go over that last. And here's where you can start to clean up. So by taking that foundation, you can run it underneath your contour if you brought your contour down a little bit too far. So you can really use this foundation as sort of like an eraser for any darkness that you added that you didn't really like or you kind of messed up on. Taking what's ever left over on this foundation brush, I'm gonna take the leftover foundation and just stamp it over the sections of my face that have the contour or the bronzer, so the darker sections. So I'm gonna run it down the nose. I'm gonna tap it over the cheeks. Can you see how natural that looks? And then again, taking what's ever left over and running it over my lips, but definitely in a stamping motion. You wanna stamp because you don't wanna swipe. If you swipe, you're gonna move any of the layers that you've already put on your face. So by stamping, you're keeping everything in place. You're just pressing it into the skin, which is gonna to help to blend it out in place. Let us move on to cream blush. Say Beauty uh, Dew Blush in the shade Peachy. And I'm just gonna dot this all over my face using the Doe Foot applicator angled blush brush this is from firma this is 103 i'm just going to pat this into the skin 
I'm gonna bring it over top of my nose as well, put a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin, just to give me a really rosy glow. This formulation is so freaking beautiful, and I love how it just looks so natural. Like, it just looks like I have a natural, like, sun-kissed flush. Take a little bit of that same concealer that I was using before on the back of my hand. The brush that I use to blend out my concealer, this is 457. I'm gonna pick it up on the back of my hand, and I'm just gonna look to see where maybe I brought my blush down a little bit too far. Um, I kind of want to take it away from my mouth right here. So I'm just using the product on the brush just to go ahead and clean up any mistakes that I may have made, anything that kind of just came out of the lines. Okay, I kind of brought this blush down a little bit too far. You can also use your foundation. You can use whatever left on the brush from before and just tap, tap around. You can just totally stop here. Just powder underneath the eyes, powder where you need to just set anything so that it doesn't move. However, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to layer up using powder products. This way, if you are going to an event this summer where you want your makeup to last or really any season, the kind of layering of cream and then powder is really going to make your makeup stay like super long. I'm talking like 16, 18, 20 plus hours. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to just layer everything up. I feel like I really might regret this because I've never used this, but this is from Basic Beauty and this is a bronzing palette. However, this has a shade in here that would be really good for contour for me, this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH07. I'm just gonna keep that in like an inch and a half radius right here. Ooh, that's pigmented. I'm gonna go back in with this brush to just blend it out. Okay, okay, it's a good color. A little goes a very long way, but I'm just keeping that to the back of my face. And I'm not fluffing this too much. I'm keeping it to the hairline and right underneath the cheek. You could do a little bit underneath your chin right here. And in case you didn't know this, like using any kind of powder, whether it's translucent or bronzing powder or contour powder, that's going to set any liquid on your face. So we are essentially setting the liquid bronzer that we added to our face, the debronzy pollution sunshine drops here. We're setting that with this bronzer from NARS. This is Laguna Bronzer. And I'm just gonna pick it up on a fluffier brush because again, bronzer we want to be a little bit more dispersed so we don't need it to be precise. And we want it to lay down a little bit softer which is why we use a big fluffy brush. I'm kind of putting it like all over the cheeks. I'm patting it over where we put the blush and I'm gonna run it down my neckline powder blush and I'm gonna be using NARS in the shade orgasm Luxie 660 this brush has like seriously been through the ringer oh my god um, and I'm just gonna pat this onto my cheeks into the skin using this nice fluffy brush concealer brush that I've been using and I'm just gonna take any of the concealer that has moved into my fine lines. So anything up top here, I'm just pressing it out of those lines before I go ahead and set it. Because if you set concealer while it's in a wrinkle or a line, whatever it is you wanna call them, it's gonna literally stay there forever. I shouldn't say forever, I should say until you wash your face. Trusty Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this into the skin. That is pretty much it. Like this is our entire base. We did everything essentially twice in case you guys didn't notice. We used a cream product and the same powder product on top. And this is just not gonna go anywhere all day long. And it looks so natural. All right guys, and this is the finished makeup look. If you are interested in my eye makeup, which I did film, I will go ahead and put that video up here if it already has gone live on my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about how to do this step-by-step -step kind of reverse foundation routine, do be sure to leave your questions down below in the comment section. I would love to help you guys out. Also be sure to let me know if there's something that you would specifically like to see from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did be sure to leave it a big thumbs up down below i had a wonderful time as always thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see you in my next one bye guys Mwah.